So I will uh, solve a problem on gravitational motion. So here the problem given is like this. If a stone falls past a window of height 2.45 meters in half a second, find the height from which it fell. So it looks to be a very simple problem, but you have to understand it clearly. I will uh, explain it with a diagram. So let us uh, take uh, this is the wall, and the window is present in, in this wall. So this is the window portion. This is the window. So height of the window he has given 2.45 meters. The question here is, if a stone falls from some point here, let us take this point as A. A is the point from which a stone falls. If it takes a half a second to cross this window, so to cross this window, uh, it will take only half a second. Half a second. What is the height from which it fell? That means we have to find this height. What is the height from which the stone fell above the top of the window? So I will take the height as h here. So we have to find out the value of h. So please note that here only two data is given. The first data is the height of the window. That is the distance traveled by the stone from the top to the bottom. So I will take this point and give this as B, this as C. So B C is the height of the window, it is 2.45 meters. And the time taken by the stone to travel from B to C, to fall from B to C is uh, half a second. So we don't know the time taken by the stone to travel from A to B. So what I will do here is, so what I will take this uh, time taken by the stone to travel from A to B as T. T is alone here. And H is the distance from A to B. That is the height above the, uh, above the top of the window from which the stone falls. So let, now here I will write like this. H is the height above the top of the window of window from which from which the stone fell. So that means the distance A B. That is distance A. Now T I will take as the time taken by the stone time taken by the stone to form from a to B. Let it be in seconds. So we will restrict ourselves to seconds and meters. And uh, half second is the time taken by the stone to travel or to fall from B to C. So one point uh, that is half second. This is the time taken by the stone to fall from B to C, that is from the top of the window to the bottom of the window, that is the distance traveled. Uh, distance traveled is uh, 2.5 meters. So you have to the distance between B C and the height of the window as 2.5 meters. Now the question is, we have to find out this height above which uh, uh, the stone uh, fall, uh, from friends. Now, here to find out that H, uh, we have to consider the fall of the stone from A to B as well as from A to C. So, two uh, gravitational motion we have to consider. So, first gravitational motion is gravitational motion of stone from A to B so the first question. So gravitational motion of stone from A to B. Now the distance traveled from A to B is H. That is, I will write S is equal to H. Initial velocity of stone is 0. At A, 
the velocity of storm will be zero. U is zero. Then distance travelled is h. I will take the time taken as t. Time taken as t. Now since it is falling uh, down, so you have to take plus g. So I have told earlier in the earlier classes that when a particle travels upwards against the gravity, you have to take minus d in the equation of motion. When it is traveling towards the gravity, you have to take plus d. So downwards, so stone is traveling or uh, falling downwards. So therefore, you have to take plus d. The equation is S is equal to u d plus half d d square. This is the second equation of motion. So please uh, you substitute these values here. So S is h here. Plus I have to take this volume down. u is 0 here, initial velocity. So you will be getting half into 9.8 half into g into t square. So I will as it is. So t is not known here. To call this as equation 1. Now, second, I will take the gravitational motion, gravitational motion of stone from A to C, A to C. Second, so in this case, let us see what are the values of S is h plus 2.45. So, we have to add 2.45 to that. So, h plus 2.45 distance travel from A to C. Once again, u is 0 initial velocity. Time will be now t plus half second, that is 0.5, t plus 0.5 seconds. So, this should be used. Now, substituting, once again, it is downward motion, we have to take plus d. Same equation, s is equal to ut plus half d t square, but here, S is h plus 2.45, which is equal to here u is 0, half into g into t will be t plus 0.5 square of that. So this is the equation. Now I will call this as equation 2. Now if you solve equations 1 and 2, we can easily get the values of h and t. So two unknowns are there, two equations are available. So now it is very easy to solve this. So subtract uh, equation 1 from equation 2. Subtract equation 1 from equation 2. LHS case, LHS will give H will get cancelled. So 2.45 is equal to here. You can see that it is half g into half g into here this one. If you expand this, you get t square plus a plus b whole square, a square plus 2ab plus b square. So t square plus t, 2 into t into 0.5 is t itself, plus b square, 0.5 square is 0.25, minus this. So RHS minus RHS, half t into t square. Now you can see here in the RHS, this half t t square term will get cancelled, one is positive and negative. So you will be left with the half t into t plus 0.25. Now, if you simplify this, you will get the value of uh, t. So, here this LHS is 2.45. Now, if I simplify this, g into t plus 0.25 will be equal to mass multiplication 2.45 into 2 is 4.9. So, therefore, t plus 0.25 is equal to 4.9 divided by g is 3.81 so which comes out to be 0.5 so 4.9 divided by 9.81 so 4.5 so 4.9 4.9 divided by 9.81 is 0.499 that is 0.5 I can take so therefore, t is equal to 0.5 minus 0.25, which is 0.25 seconds. That means the time taken for the stone to fall from A to B, from A to B, t will be equal to 0.25, 
Now substitute this value of P in one of the equations, either 1 or 2, to get the value of H. So substituting for T in equation 1, it leads to H is equal to half into G is 9.81 into T is 0.25 square of that. So you will be getting the value as 0.25 square into 9.81 divided by 2 will be 0 0.3066 0 0.3066 meters. So that is the height from which the stone fell. So this is a simple problem. So given the data, so you have to write consider the portion from A to C and A to B separately. Two amounts with the H and T, you will get two equations. So if you solve them, you are going to get the answer.